Good job Ted wasn't actually on that tanker. His beret would have gone flying out of there. Probably those typhoons would have been like, what was that? So, from the United States Air Force refueling tankers, such as the KC-10, to the RAF's Voyager from RAF Bryce Norton, the RAF's typhoons get their air-to-air -air refueling from these guys. Air-to-air -air refueling is a skill and an art. Travelling at speeds of over 500 miles per hour, refueling can take around about 5 minutes before the next typhoon is ready to get into position. The fuel hose is called a drogue and can extend to about 27 metres to get to the typhoon. The typhoon's fuel probe is tucked into an envelope and when they are ready for refuel, the fuel probe extends out. Once the Typhoon's fuel probe connects and inserts into the drogue, the fuel probe's valve opens. The fuel probes are full of sensors which can get damaged during refuel. Factors such as turbulence can make the task difficult and damage to the fuel probe are not uncommon. Have you ever seen a Typhoon on finals with a fuel probe out? This means that the fuel probe has been damaged as it could not be retracted. If a pilot cannot get the fuel probe to retract after refueling, there is actually a procedure for recovery for a Typhoon with a fuel probe out. Did you notice that that Typhoon, um, when it finished refuel, its fuel probe did not retract, so I'm wondering if that got damaged, because this guy, coming up now, when he retracts after finishing his refuel, um, it goes straight back in. Once refueling is finished, the Typhoon will reduce speed and the valve will close before disconnection to avoid fuel spillages.